Hope you're doing amazing. Here I have my favorite new gaming chair. This is the DX Racer Master Series. Uh, this is one of their best uh, gaming chairs. And uh, the reason why I say it's a one of my favorite uh, chairs is I've had the chance to sit on this uh, for quite a few weeks now. I did the unboxing on day one and uh, I didn't want to go ahead and do the review on the same day. It didn't make much sense. So I do work from home, also play games as well. And uh, I've been sitting on this majority of the time here throughout the day. Uh, there are a few things which I love about this uh, chair. I'm going to go ahead and show you in a bit now. So whenever I'm looking to buy a chair, usually I look at if it's uh, comfortable because I'm spending countless hours on this chair. So it does definitely need to be comfortable. The base here, no complaints at all. Very soft. And uh, it's not like memory foam. Usually it looks like uh, kind of like a car seat, like even like the little holes you can see here. So it can breathe, which is nice. And it doesn't get too hot actually when you're sitting down. And there's definitely been a couple of hot days uh, where I had to turn the AC on all day. And it doesn't get too, too hot, which is nice. And the other thing about this chair is the lumbar support here. It does have height and depth adjustment. And the whole back kind of comes off here. I'm going to go ahead and show you. So it does have a Velcro here. So you're able like to take it apart. And you can kind of see how the, the lumbar support works, like the height and depth. So you're able to adjust the lumbar support any way you want it, which is nice. And uh, you're able to leave it there. And it doesn't make any like squeaking noises or anything like that whenever you're sitting down, which is nice. One thing I really hated with my old uh, gaming chair is whenever I used to stand up here, uh, the, the armrest would kind of like pull back because it didn't have kind of stop or a lock, I would say. So this one, you're able like to kind of like move this around but it does have a lock. Uh, this is what they call the 4D armrest and uh, we're able to adjust it uh, a few ways. So if I go ahead and uh, lift this, I'm able like to lift it and stop the armrest at any place I want to. Also pressing this right here, I'm able to move it forward, backward. And uh, there's another kind of switch here hiding inside. So this, I can go ahead and move it uh, towards me or outwards as well. Also rotate the whole armrest as well. So if I go ahead and hold the front button here, I'm go I'm able like to go ahead and rotate this. So this actually works pretty great. And uh, I'm one who kind of uses the armrest even when I'm playing games. I usually like put like this uh, almost to the same height as my keyboard. Uh, same thing for this uh, like for the mouse. So this works very well. Usually I'm able like to put it very close so like my arm doesn't get tired whenever I'm like typing or just like playing a game. So the armrests are very sturdy, um, not much movement, like all kind of like a metal piece here, very well constructed. When we're looking to see how far the chair kind of goes back, uh, this is how far it goes back and I can go ahead and take a nap if I wanted to. So this uh, chair has some great height adjustment. I'm uh, 5'11 and uh, like my feet right now are touching and the chair is, uh, Right now, the chair is like all the way down, so my feet are touching. But if I go ahead and lift the chair and sit down, it's like uh, my feet are like hovering, not able to really touch the ground. So this chair is definitely for those uh, who are on the taller side. This chair is great for that as well. One thing I really hate when it comes to gaming chairs is squeaking noises whenever like I'm moving it or doing anything like that. I really hate and uh, so far for a few weeks now I haven't heard any squeaks coming from this chair but time will kind of tell so I'll keep you guys updated maybe in a year or so I'll go ahead and write a comment to see if it still sounds good because usually after a year they all start squeaking but we're gonna go ahead and find that out with this chair as well it does have a class 4 hydraulic system as well and uh, three inch uh, wheels there which is good they're not they don't really make any noise when you're like rolling as you can hear now uh, they are pu covered so they don't really make much noise which is good so the next thing we're looking at is the pillow here um it does have an adjustable headrest which you can go ahead and uh, move it down and uh, move it all the way up. So you can hear the clicking sound. So if I pull it up and then you're able like to stop it. So the highest it can go is like this high. And uh, let's say I'm sitting down. 
So this is where my head is kind of going. And if I go ahead and pull it all the way down, and uh, now you can kind of see where my head is. So if you're a shorter or taller person, definitely you're able like to adjust this uh, the way you want to. So the actual headrest, it is memory foam, as you can see here. So it's pretty uh, soft, which is nice. So the quality of this chair is pretty good so far. I haven't uh, had any, really any issues that I could find. And uh, putting the whole thing together was a breeze, no issues there at all. I also do have the craft series of the DX Racer chair. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a comparison of both together. So keep an eye out for that video. But for now, if you have any questions, regarding this chair, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer it if there's anything I forgot to cover on this uh, video. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next uh, video.